There you go. Again. Again. Good. Good. Now come right back up top. You can hit him with double right hands. Go. We are four days away from the fight. I'm tired of training. I'm ready to fight. I was ready to fight four days ago. So I'm just looking forward to, can't wait for Saturday to get here. You know, you spend your whole life telling your kids don't fight, and then one of them grows up and becomes a boxer. After graduating from MSU, Seth was counseling kids at a local school. He saw former Notre Dame football player Tom Zibikowski boxing on TV, and he thought, if he can box, I can box too. I, I can remember the conversation like yesterday. Uh, he was pretty matter of fact. I think I can do boxing. He told me, he said, I'm going into boxing. And I thought at that time, well, he's either trying to drive me out of my mind or he's just going into boxing. It's one of the two, you know. I happened to have uh, boxed a little growing up. I knew uh, his current manager, Sharif Saleem, as a kid. He was my mentor as a kid, actually. I had been in the game for several years, but decided to take a hiatus that I actually expanded to five years. But um, Mr. Banks said that I have a youngster you have to meet. He introduced me to Seth, and um, I uh, kind of like he had me at hello. I saw the ingredients in, in, in Seth to be a person that um, I could enter back into the game with. Sharif Salim took Seth to the Dream Team boxing gym and introduced him to Andre Hunter. 2007, he came up to the gym with um, his manager, Sharif Salim, and they were looking for a trainer. And, but I, I really didn't want to waste my time with somebody who was playing around, but I saw this, you know, youngster wasn't playing around. <laughs> Worked with him a couple of days, one week. This, I said, this, this guy can punch, man. He made, he made me retire my body bag. Oh, boy. Steam off, man. Play some steam off. I've hit game-winning shots. I've, uh, I've broken collarbones. I've had stopped people on fourth and one. I've knocked helmets off as well as intercepted a pass and ran it back for a touchdown. It's nothing like, you know, just hitting somebody. Of course, in the ring. Hitting somebody and, uh, you know, just just knocking them out. I, I haven't had a feeling like that. It, it, feels, it feels good. That may sound wrong, but it feels good. The power to knock a guy out with one shot. You know, the fight, you could be losing the whole fight, and then this one shot just changes everything. People like to see big heavyweights because of the thunder. We feel that this Saturday night, we will be seeing the future of the heavyweight division. So without any further ado, I would like to introduce to you Seth Mayhem Mitchell. I respect my opponent a lot. But come December 10th, when the bell ring, I'm pretty sure he won't respect me, and I won't respect him either. It's going to be a, a great night. I want to say hi to my, my mom. This is her first time coming to an event. I love you very much. Um, I'm just excited about December 10th. This is the, the platform that I want to be on, and I plan on taking full advantage of it come Saturday night. Thank you. OK, let's get that shot, please, right here. This is definitely by far the most press that I've that I've had to do as far as my career. It's vital that you have like that people know who you are. You have a fan base. You want people to want to see you fight. You just gotta stay focused, maintain, keep training hard, stay mentally and physically focused, and uh, I'm definitely on top of my game in that aspect. I'll be the first to tell you, uh, he'll be the one that, that that will make it because of his humbleness and also his work ethic. I don't see Seth as being cocky, but confident. I believe that I'm blessed with, with the gifts and the talent and the, the work ethic and you know all of the adjectives and the intangibles. But um, to be cocky, to be big headed, to, to be a braguette, you know, that's just, that's just not me, it's not my style. It sounds like I'm contradicting myself because I say that you know, anybody can be beaten, you know, that I'm not invincible, which I truly believe that, but when I step in the ring, I don't think I'm going to lose. I don't think my opponent has a chance to beat me. This is the official weigh-in brought to you by legendary promoter and fighter, Oscar De La Hoya. And from Brandy Wine, Maryland, and Seth Mayhem Mitchell. On the scale at this time, 
Former Michigan State linebacker, undefeated heavyweight, Seth Mitchell, 240 and one half pounds. What Seth means to the Washington, D.C. area goes a little further than boxing itself. I'm an old guy, and uh, to see a young man come along like him, uh, it makes me happy that uh, he's a product of this county, Prince George's County in Maryland, and uh, he's, he's gone on to do great things. This area could always use role models. I don't think Seth goes out the door every day saying that I am a role model, but inevitably that's what he is becoming. The kids here in Brandywine and in Prince George's County can say, hey, look, this guy made it. This guy went to Gwen Park, and now look what he's doing with his life. And, you know, and I hope that he can be a very positive role model for some of these other children that are floundering.